So we went out on the Jeep the other day. Something interesting happened. When we got back towards the road and we were airing up, the compressors started acting really funny on the Jeep. So this is back to rock crawling part two. We're gonna tear apart my compressor and see if we can fix it. Let's take a look. I don't think I've ever seen an Araby compressor do that. The tire is only about 15 PSI right now. I aired it down. So I'm thinking maybe pressure switch or something in the motor itself. Let's figure it out. Before we go any further, let's do a simple electrical test. We're gonna disconnect the pump, and then we're gonna turn the power switch on, and we're gonna see if the power is cycling before the pump or after. Voltage is not changing. All right, let's hook it back up, and then we'll run it across this pressure switch and see if we can find anything different there. After hot wiring that thing, it seems to be working now. So I think we verify that the pressure switch is bad. However, the pump does sound a bit tired. So let's pull it out anyway and see what we can see. That's a pretty simple design. I think what we'll do, I think what we'll do is pull this back part of the motor casing apart and take a peek in there, see what we can find. How does that... Oh. Well, that all looks pretty good, if I'm honest with you. I wonder, maybe we need to clean those uh, contacts up a little bit. So we can get the back open and see what the brushes look like. Uh, what's this? I must go against that back part of the casing there. Like a thrust washer is what that looks like. Well, that's kind of neat. So these brushes, they lock down when you push them for, uh, dis for assembly and disassembly. That's pretty nice. I'm, I'm really liking the way this thing is built actually. It comes across, comes apart pretty nicely and I don't know, the construction looks pretty cool, but I'm not really seeing anything that tells me anything is damaged. 
Although maybe I don't know what I'm looking at. But the brushes, they look pretty good. So maybe it is just that pressure switch. Bearings look good. Maybe I can get some little cloth and clean that. I don't know what this is called. Is that a commutator? Let's see, burned wires. Doesn't smell burned or anything. I guess the only thing to do is uh, we'll pull the piston apart. See how that looks. We got it all apart, and one thing that I noticed is that all these joints, I did not tape. So I will be doing that. Also, there's a clue in there, a little bit of moisture inside these pieces, so I wonder if the moisture destroyed, destroyed the pressure switch, or if it's just on its way out, because it does not look super great. Now, I have no idea what these pressure switches are supposed to ohm out at, or even if you can, but you know, while we're here, we'll do it, and then I'll see if I can find another one and uh, then we'll look at putting it back together. But if you guys know, please hit the comments because I don't know anything about this. Maybe we can put it here so you can see what's going on. Uh, 1.2, 1.3. No idea what it's supposed to be at, but we'll see if we can go find a new one and I'll clean everything up in the meantime and start getting it back together. The piston actually looks pretty good. Now remember, this has, uh, what, eight, nine years of use on it, and that's that's what your piston looks like out of one of these things. It looks pretty good shape. They re make rebuild kits for all of this stuff. That's fairly inexpensive. The, uh, the sleeve, the sleeve looks pretty good. There's a little bit of gouging in there, so if I buy the rebuild kit for this that rebuilds this, I bet you this pump will... Uh, We'll do a whole lot better. The motor looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and get some cloth and try to clean up that uh, the contacts here. So we get a little better connection. Maybe that'll help the motor out. Not entirely sure. So at this point, I am guessing, because, it, because of the state of everything, I am guessing our issue is uh, that little guy but very cool to pull us apart let me go see what we can find for parts so we can put it back together and get it working again all right the setup we're going to test this real quick now i got it back together uh, i just want to see how this thing runs we got a battery here i got a charger on the battery so we get full juice and we got some little totally safe contraption right here we're just doing a little little no load test to see how fast it actually spins and what it sounds like That sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good, really. Also, note the date code, 2015. This guy's getting there in some age. Back to uh, maybe finding that switch. Drop some pressure in this tire so that we can test the pump out properly. Sitting at 10 PSI, let's test it out. We hit the pressure. We're actually gonna go on a night run, so uh, we'll, go air, we'll go on the night run, air these puppies down and air them up and see if the pump works.
Oh, is that Back it? up just a little bit. No, he just wedged. Hang on a second. Whoa. Gotta go. 